okay so good morning good evening to all of you guys till now what all things we have covered in linux uh, uh, till here i think uh, managing sorry network configuration and troubleshooting so today we are going to see this managing sc linux it's a very small topic there is nothing much in this one but this is very strong topic also you can say okay because this is only the uh, uh, almost uh, the security point of view okay of your linux operating system of your linux server this is the main part okay fine and then booting procedure and kernel parameter we'll see that if uh, we'll cover these two because i don't want to give you so much of uh, burden immediately okay we will cover everything that's not a problem okay fine so how many of you know that what do you mean by sc linux any idea what is sc linux according to you don't tell me the full form security enhanced linux I just wanted to understand from you what do you mean by SC Linux? Any idea? If no idea, also it is fine. It's an extra layer on top of. It's uh, an extra layer for the security. Okay, very good, Adiba. Hardening done on the server. Hardening done on the server. Okay, Darshan. Hardening is a different thing. Again, I am telling you, hardening is a different thing. But this will come by default with the Linux server. Okay. Yes. Anyone else? Fine. Now listen. Just see here and listen carefully, guys. Uh, this is important. See, I have written two definition over here, but I'll directly jumping into the second definition. Why I want to jump into the second definition? Because it is easier to understand. Okay, so this is my definition. Okay, so security enhanced Linux is basically you know a user, right? A user that user allows we allow users basically in our Linux server an administrator for more control over which user and application can access which resources. For example, if I am telling you you are a Raghav user, you are a root user you are any normal user system user or right and there are some system user also and there are some application also right but we we are allowing them to get the access of the resources what resources basically so uh, your linux resources only correct like they wanted to access some directory they want to access some files and all right so that is called a linux access control standard linux access control till now you have seen correct but such as files like that is what i have written read write and execute read write uh, read and execute read and execute this one normal if you wanted to get the access of a file right if you want to get the access of a file as a normal user you want to get the access of a directory as a normal user correct so here you can see if you wanted to access as a normal this is the root user super user he wanted to access the uh, this file or he wanted to access this directory or or uh, if suppose raghav user is there or uh, any application if you take it as a ps uh, uh, iphone aux or ps iphone these things i'll be explaining in process and management and you see suppose mysql process is running he wanted to access right so basically mysql is also going to access some of the files and directory yes or no guys right in the previous session i have shown you that mysql is also a user correct if you are going to install a normal uh, 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 so if you are installing mysql if you are installing ansible if you are installing apache right or anything that is also going to access those files and directory same like normal user is also going to use the files and a directory and all right so that is what it is written here that as a normal user that is a standard linux user control you can call it as a where where you are giving the files access or a directory access according to the user or according to the application till now yes or no but what if in case if these applications or these users are trying to misbehave with these files and a directory understanding my point so i am telling you okay fine uh, like uh, if i have given a just try to understand in a normal term like uh, we are living okay we are living in india right so in india like uh, we make people like our own some people will make it as a uh, uh, 
uh, in area like uh, collector is collector is there or a dm is there right for a particular area we can say we can make it them right but what i am telling if i am making a normal and at the same time few of normal users also have the access of your government uh, public things and all right correct but at the same time we don't know this collector or these dms will start messing up with the system correct yes or no so in that case we need someone okay or we we should make sure that there should be someone that who is on top of them like a government okay so who can control everyone so what happened recently in i don't wanted to get but you can see in bangladesh right or you recently in uh, back in sri lanka right what happened in those uh, countries and all you see when the when the control comes to a normal user things are unstructured they are started misbehaving with the system yes or no so if i'll give control to this uh, particular if i'll tell you to this normal users and if i'll give control to this applications and all they'll start be, some we don't know when they'll start misbehaving with the system right yes or no guys correct so in that case you need someone to sit on top of them that is our government okay so who should a proper protocols not protocols protocol are set of rules only but who should impose policies on them then only people are in control okay we cannot leave things to be go like this okay and that is what called security enhanced linux clear or not yeah okay so the simple definition and that is what it is written here that uh, security enhanced user, user is that sorry security enhanced uh, uh, linux is basically sc linux that allows a user and administrator to more control over which user and which and application can access which resources okay they cannot simply go ahead and do it anything okay they cannot do it so such as a file like linux standard linux access and in such as file modes and all are modifiable we also know that as a normal user or as a system user or a root user you can modify these files and a directory and all or the application that uh, can use a user runs and all whereas sc linux access control are determined by policies sc linux we don't use on top of we we write policies which loaded on the system and not changeable by careless users or misbehaving applications this is why you see everywhere there are some terms and condition there are some policies imposed by everywhere right then everybody will start doing everything yes or no correct this is that reason so nobody can change that one if once you impose some law and all so nobody should change if he's try to make changes and all he should face the consequences for that one and that is what called security enhanced linux linux and all okay now in security enhanced linux guys there are some important files which you need to understand what all those important files are there so the first file is this is the most important file if anybody will asking you in interview that what is the main file of sc linux just go ahead and tell slash etc sc linux config file is there most of you know this file i think whoever is working cat slash etc right sc linux right and config file is there so inside this file only you are going to see the sc linux here so as of now it is showing in enforcing enforcing means what it is already enabled by default in rhel9 it is in enforcing state oh, what is enforcing state and all before going into that one let's understand this one again now just remember these files these 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 files are important while you are doing troubleshooting or you want to make changes and all so you have to remember this okay that is what this is that reason in previous session also i have explained you those files and all i'm not telling you just go ahead and start troubleshooting now only no so first you need to understand which all files are there so sc linux targeted what do you mean by slash etc sc linux targeted is there so let me go over here and let me show what all things are there okay so let's come over there right and inside this one what is there so inside this you can see these things right context is there login now you see policies right so if you go inside cd policies policy okay just see what is there policy.33 what is this policy.33 okay let me see this policy.33 are you able to understand anything are you able to understand anything 
फाइन right so what all other files are there so here and okay sorry i did not told you that what is basically this uh, targeted uh, directory basically here you can see store sc linux policies for targeted enforcement okay targeted enforcement means here you can see what all uh, 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 policies are policies you can see you cannot read those and all but you can see the users okay what all sc linux users are there here, here sorry let me go one directory back just do a ls over here you see there are sc users are mentioned right sc users so when you are going to do the uh, cat of this file here this is important for you to understand anyone is understanding what is this what is this normally these things i'll be show these things all are required you see it's written also root unconfined okay unconfined default unconfined colon s0 s0 hyphen something this will be using in ftp and all while we well while configuring the ftp while configuring the dns while while configuring the nfs these things will be required guys okay let me admit someone is coming so sc user okay so sc user is basically you can see this is so sc linux is also having one user so now you understand each and every term so things as i said if you want to configure dns if you want to configure ftp if you want to configure anything even httpd and all you have to bypass these things sc linux okay then only not bypass i would say you have to make sure the configuration according to sc linux then only your application is going to work then only your services is going to work in a linux server okay this is why and it, that is comply with this policy the policy sc linux enforce may enforces okay according to that you have to make the configuration of your different services what all different services are there like dns you are configuring ntp you are configuring nfs you are configuring ftp you are configuring that should be according to sc linux understanding my point yes or no friends uh, to join my live online classes uh, just go to google and type abhishek roshan so once you type this one uh, you can see the topmost website here that uh, https uh, colon slash slash www.abhishekroshan.com this is my uh, legitimate and authentic website uh, you can just click on this one and uh, even you can download the android app also for your mobile devices so here you just need to go to the courses and here you will find out all my live upcoming classes and ongoing classes my friends so as of now the ongoing classes are batch 2 and batch 3 is ongoing so once these two batches will be finished so uh, the upcoming classes uh, that is 30 days of aws it corporate boot camp is also available you can join this batch and even if you want to join uh, 100 plus days of it corporate boot camp that is batch 4 right so you can jo join now only uh, the batch is going to start from july okay and if you only wants to go for a aws corporate boot camp then you can join this 30 days of aws it corporate boot camp guys uh, let's end up the session here only thank you for staying connected uh, let's connect again tomorrow for booting procedure and kernel parameter till then just take care of yourself your loved one bye bye and jai